Okay, well, uh, some of these packaging companies have done exceptionally well. Cosmo Films is a stock on our radar right now. The stock is up 70% year to date. Uh, it had hit a 52 week high of 491 in August. The company has announced plans to recommence installation of their BOPET line by Q2 of FY23. Now, this installation was on hold since November of 2018, and the new line will be commissioned at the Waluj plant site in Aurangabad. Pankaj Podar, the CEO of Cosmo Films, joins us to talk about that. Pankaj, thanks so much for joining us. If you can tell us what the revenue potential of this new line will be? What is the ROI that one can expect from this new project? Yeah, very good morning to the viewers. Uh, so we can expect around 400 crores of revenue for the first two years and from the third year we can expect roughly 500 crores of revenue and from the ROI perspective we can uh, expect 23% to 25% ROI on this project. Okay. Uh, you, how does the capacity utilization timetable pan out? Yes, so this is a very special line. Uh, it's the largest uh, special line meant to make, uh, you know, label films. And uh, so one is that it will give us fast advantage. Uh, having said that, you know, it can also make commodity for the uh, left out capacity. So we should be in a position to use the line almost 100% right from year one. It is just that we will continue to change the mix to shift to more to labels and other uh, specific product, uh, products mm -hmm. rather than you know, just making uh, commodity out of it. Okay, more so, uh, yeah. okay. expect the revenue to go up. More generally, Pankaj, what has been the capacity utilization in your existing plants? So we are fully utilized right now. Okay, and have you been able to see push up your uh, uh, realizations since uh, you know the demand for packaging seems to have gone through the roof? Yes, so. The realizations are quite good. Uh, they are hovering around uh, 30 rupees for the basic uh, film. Uh, but the good part is our sp speciality mix is going up. Mm. Uh, two years back we were hovering at 30 uh, percent, mm. and now uh, we have gone up to 50, 55 percent. Oh. So uh, it is continuously helping us uh, to improve, uh, to become a speciality player, not be so dependent on commodity and decommodize the business. So okay. this margin increase from 10% to 18%, uh, can, can you do even better? Certainly, you know, because we are expecting that by the end of March 22, we would like to touch 60% as a speciality mix. And by March 23, we expect this to be 70%. And this is certainly going to improve the uh, margin percentage for us. Okay, uh, can you tell us a little more about demand uh, between lamination films, packaging films, label films and industrial films, where are you seeing the largest amount of demand coming from now? Yes, so right now obviously it is from packaging films, but you see there is a very favorable mix change which has happened. We used to be around 60% for packaging films, which has now come down to 43%. And we are able to supply more on the niche segments of labels, industrial films, lamination films, and those segments are going up, uh, especially the label is going up and industrial is going up. Uh, and that is driving the uh, margins to a higher level. Your debt and do you have any free cash? Yeah, we have, I mean our debt EBITDA ratio right now is 1.8 times. And by the time this line is commercialized, we do expect that our debt EBITDA should come down con consistently. And uh, we should be, uh, you know, less than one debt EBITDA ratio by the time uh, this line, uh, you know, uh, producing uh, uh, polyester uh, products. Okay, so because demand has gone up so much, would you, uh, are you planning any capex, fresh capex this year? And if yes, how would you fund it? So I think uh, one is the master batch plant, which has already started. So that was one capex. It was not very large capex. The other one is a chemical line uh, that we are going to order uh, within the month of September and it should start in quarter four. So those are two important capex that we uh, did. There was a small leftover from last year of uh, coating line, uh, which also happened in this year. So this year, our overall capex is not so large. Uh, the other thing is we are spending money on automation. We are shifting to SAP HANA. Uh, we are shifting to vendor portals. So there's a lot of automation that's happening. We are becoming totally a paperless company, a highly automated company when it comes to the shop floor. So yeah, there are small capexes uh, that, that are happening there, but in general our capex is uh, not so big in this year. And I think with this polyester line, we are not expecting any other uh, large capex to happen in the next two years. So this is uh, what is really going to happen. 
will play in next two years. Can you give us a forecast for this year's profit or EPS? You have done a substantial growth in profit in the first quarter. So is this 47 crore going to be your run rate? Will you do better than 47 crore? What's a reasonable EPS for this year? Yes, so uh, I think this is, uh, we should stay at these levels or continue to go better. Uh, it is dependent on two factors. One is our speciality mix, which is continuously improving and that should improve our margins. On the other side, you know, it is also dependent on how the commodity margins play in the market. Given that there is no new capacity expected for the BOPP line within this year, uh, so in general, the demand is better while the supply situation remains at the same level. And therefore, we do not expect that even the commodity margins to uh, change too much. You know, they are remaining range-bound if we see last five, six months. So commodity margins are expected to be range-bound while speciality mix will go up. And therefore, uh, we do expect that the margins should at least stay at this level or uh, continue to go better from this level. Oh. Okay, Pankaj, all the best for the future. And thanks so much for taking the time out and speaking to CNBC TV 18. That's Cosmo Films. It's been a big wealth creator. In the last two years, it's gone from 150 all the way to almost 500, which was the peak we saw in the month of August. Let's take a quick break on that note. On the other side of the break, plenty of technical advice coming through. Ashwini Gujral and Mithi.